Well, Johnson & Johnson's woes don't appear to be going away anytime soon. The company recalled more Tylenol products last week, and an FDA inspection found repeated manufacturing missteps involving Benadryl, Rolaids, and other household brands. For more, we're joined by Bloomberg's Shannon Pettypee. Shannon, what is going on here with J&J? &J? Right. Well, this has been going on for almost a year. If you remember, it started with yes. people getting uh, moldy, musty-smelling products at uh, this plant in Puerto Rico. Uh, it seemed the company had that under control. Then in April, they recalled, um, uh, they completely pulled Tylenol for children off the store shelves. And since April, there's been sort of a little trickle of products being recalled here and there. They've had about 12 recalls this year. And uh, an FDA report that was put up on the FDA's website a few weeks ago really sort of revealed how every, every sort of process in the manufacturing chain has its problems here and there, from putting proper expiration dates on to pills being mixed up, products like uh, the wrong uh, formulation being put on Benadryl allergy products, just a system-wide problem going on. And we thought that it was just happening at a, a Fort Washington plant in Pennsylvania initially. And J&J &J said, okay, let's close down this plant. That's why the, all the children's Tylenol products you know, were off the shelves, and let's get this straight. But now this new FDA report shows that it, the same things are going on at this Puerto Rico plant. And as of the end of November or early November, some of these products still, uh, these problems still hadn't been corrected. The company still hadn't put uh, processes in place. So again, so raising what's going on? all how, of these how questions. How are they not doing that, though? Right. Well, it's raising all of these questions among investors about what is going on at J&J. Right. &J. And the company has had a lot of time to correct this. It's been going on for about a year. And I think part of the reason, may, some people have said maybe that J&J &J has been really sort of focused in these units. They've got their McNeil consumer unit. They've got their device unit. They've got their drug unit. And the CEO, Bill Weldon, he's sort of a big picture guy. He's sort of at top thinking about broad, long-term things, not really micromanaging stuff. Well, maybe now people are saying he needs to get in there with his hands a little bit more and figure out what's going on. They took the head of their consumer business out, and she was she re retired and was replaced uh, a few months ago. Mm -hmm. But now they think this, that, yeah, the CEO probably needs to get in here and start figuring out what's going on, because these aren't going away. And now we've got Congress involved, too. Um, there were congressional hearings over the summer. Uh, um, just earlier this month, some members of Congress were saying that they want to know why the FDA hasn't been catching these issues sooner, right. why this has been going on so long on that end as well. So then as a consumer, when you're going in and buying these J&J &J products, should you be worried? Right. I think there's a lot of confusion, especially because at, at one point it seemed like it was, okay, just one big recall. Now each month the company seems to be announcing some new recall, and that's very confusing for consumers. And, you know, I look on some of these consumer websites, some of these parenting websites and stuff, and people talking about just throwing out everything. They don't want to go check and find out, you know, do they have the recalled product or not. They're just not going to use any of the J&J &J products. And most of these products have generic equivalents. I mean, Tylenol, mm. it's, it's a... It's it's, you, you buy, buy Tylenol for the brand. There's right. a lot of generic versions out there. And so if the brand is tarnished, the Tylenol brand, then they really don't have anything because, I mean, Tylenol is something that anyone can make. Right. The thing is, every household probably has some J&J &J product there. And so right. it is so widespread and pervasive. Thank you, Shannon. Right.